whenever I go to one of these things out of state, people always you know, say, like, what are you guys doing out there in California, you know? <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, no, I, I, and so I didn't seek the, this, and uh, uh, we didn't seek it, and, and I don't, I'm trying to remember, I don't believe the defense did it either. I think the judge kind of did it on his own, and, and the reason was is the case, and, and, I, and I'm not going to, you know, I don't want to cast dispersions on anybody, but it, it was kind of being tried a little bit, you know, out on the courthouse steps. And uh, I don't think we did it, but you know I'm not going to. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not I gonna. made a point of not watching those shows, <laughs> but boy, whenever I would see that come across, it was I mean, night you know, after it, night. And, after and night. so uh, it, you know, it was kind of this, you know, have a press conference after every day kind of thing. And and I'm not sure that that was serving any purposes either. And so, you know, the judge kind of brought it on himself. I mean, brought it up himself to to do this. Now, did it help in the long run? Um, you know, looking in hindsight, you know, it's really hard to say. It made it much easier for me as the prosecutor, I have to say that, because it was easy to just walk out of court every day and say, you know, I no comment, you know I can't say anything. And, I, you know, we pretty, you know, as far as I'm aware, my whole group scrupulously followed that. But uh, so in that regard, it made it easier. Now, did it help the process at all? Well, like I said, you had all these outside people that were talk, you know, uh, you know, presenting, you know, giving information. You had all the talking heads who were making... Uh, uh, numerous statements every night, and, and in fact, I have a good story on that. Uh, when, the, when the jury was out deliberating, my, uh, uh, it, it got back to me from some people who had just like were on N MSNBC or, or one of the shows, and they got back to me and they said one of the talking heads asked, asked someone a question, and, and the person said, oh, I don't know the, an you know the answer to that, and they let it go. And, and later, one of the other uh, pundits told them, oh, I never say that. You know, I, if I don't know the answer, I just make it up. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, and, and so that being the case, you know, you know, to me, that's a bad thing. I mean, that, you know, that's where the real information obviously would have been better. See, and, and follow up on that, the, the Scott Peterson case, for I don't, uh, for some reason I'll never understand, <laughs> three or four times while that case was going on, I would get phone calls from the cable shows saying, we've got Peterson on again, we're looking for a new angle, can you come on and talk about this or that? And I'd say, well, I don't know anything about that. Well, can you come on anyway? And I said, well, no, if you want to talk about gag orders or First Amendment issues or cameras in the courtroom or something that I actually do know something about, I, I'm, it's fine. I mean, last week I turned down Nancy Grace because she wanted me to talk about something I had no <laughs> idea what was going on. And, 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 and they will call and say, oh, well, just, you know, if, if we'd rather have you than some, if you don't do it, we're going to have to ask somebody else. And it's like, well, not my problem. I'm just not going to speculate about something I don't know. But as a result, they do find somebody who's willing to just sort of spew it out there. Standards are not high. A few years ago, we won a case, and uh, the booker for Nightline said, won't you come on at 11.30 tonight and do Nightline? And I said, no, I think at 11.30 tonight, I'm probably going to be drunk. And she said, without missing a beat, she said, oh, we've had lots of drunk lawyers. 